What's up guys? This is day two of Comic-Con Revolution in West Palm Beach, 2019. It's 7am right now, I'm eating a little breakfast. <clears throat> um, not wearing the Spider-Man costume today. That was, that, that, oh man, cosplaying is a big, is a big, uh, hassle. Cause that costume, like, to go to the bathroom is, you have to take the whole thing off. It's a whole ordeal. It's really tight. It's hard to get off and hard to get back on. Also, if uh, the mask is so tight, just to get that thing on and off is a real ordeal. So it's not like I can be eating and drinking with that thing on. It gets really hot. Um, so I'm not wearing that today. Plus, I'm trying to meet these artists and writers are, that are in the comic book world who, who write graphic novels. And it's hard to for me to ask, ask serious questions and have a conversation with them as I'm in cosplay because I don't take myself seriously, I guess, and how, how would they take myself seriously? I don't know, so I'm, I'm not gonna wear that today, so it's gonna free me up, I, I won't be taking pictures with people, which I love. If I wasn't, if, if I didn't have a booth, if I, if I wasn't trying to sell at a, um, art at a table, then I'd be walking around that Spider-Man costume all day, it's really awesome, taking pictures with people and with kids, and it's, it's really cool. I, I, I would love to do that cosplay when, when I don't have a table. But I'm gonna go, <clears throat> with the Nightwing shirt that I made, just looking normal. I'm gonna ask questions. I'm gonna try to video. Um, I'm gonna try to do little mini interviews and, and video it so I can post it to YouTube. <clears throat> I wasn't comfortable with that yesterday with the Spider-Man costume. Also, it's just like I don't I don't feel good about pointing a camera in someone's face as they're like they're at their table like drawing or, or something, and I just come up, hey, da -da -da -da, like pointing their face at. The, that feels unnatural to me. Might be rude. I don't know. Might maybe looking at that wrong, but I'm gonna try to do that today. But be polite about it. See how that goes. But yeah, I'll leave. I'm gonna leave here in about an hour and hope it's a good con today, man. Hope I make some money because I didn't make any yesterday. But <clears throat> see you later. What's up, guys? Just walked into the convention two hours before the show starts. It's crazy. Like um, that's the parking garage. I just walked in. There's no security, there's nothing, no one checking passes, like... Oh, sorry, I dropped the phone. So you guys can come in, man, you don't need to buy a ticket. Uh, it's so early that they're not checking anything. So, there you are. All right, so I'm walking down the hallway and I see this. This is where they, uh, the panels go down. There's other rooms too, but this is one of the bigger rooms that they have. Cool stuff, man. No one's in here. I think I'm gonna take advantage of this. Is this on? Oh, that's on. Hello. Hello. Someone's coming. I think it's so cool to come here early when no one else is here. It's just cool to see all the setups, what it looks like with not all the people. Frank Thierry. I'm gonna talk to these people later. Amanda Connor, Jimmy Pal Palamani. I was at the panels yesterday. Really nice people. Um, been in the comic book industry for a long time. Really cool to see all this stuff. That's a tall setup. Some love for Yu Yu, Yu Hakusho, uh, I like that. If you come over here, there's like pot figures over here. Oh, they got it locked down, smart. All right, so I made it to my little table here. This thing is not as tall as other people's um, because it's really unstable and wobbly. There's a piece, a pole piece that goes to the other end and it broke so I couldn't put this too high um, yeah just a little behind the scenes what's going down over here and then these people didn't show up so I was able to the guy said I can use their table for my stuff so I took advantage of it but I brought more anime shirts this time yesterday I only brought superhero shirts but I brought more anime stuff this time so maybe I can sell those all right open so I bought three um, graphic novels uh, of the same title, Volume 1, 2, and 3, from The Shepherd, from this guy who gave me some good advice yesterday. 
I want to get this signed by Dr. Strange Rider. Uh, yeah, right. Some more shirts, Samurai Jack, Shikamaru, Trunks. Got Goku Black in there. So I'll see if those sell. But I'm gonna fold those up, make them nice, put them up here, and let's get this thing going. All right, so we're an hour into the con. It's 11. I'm working on a little Jake Snake Roberts drawing. He's right over there. I talked to him earlier. I think I caught him too early because like, he, he just arrived and I was having to walk by and he was by himself just setting up, putting stuff on the table. So I walked over there, but he seemed groggy, tired, and uh, not the best interaction. I mean, he wasn't mean by any uh, by any means, but um, he was. I don't know. You expect people like as a fan when you, when you go to these people that you admire, you expect them to be like, hey, what's up? Yeah. But he seemed out of it and just tired. But yeah, I, I caught him as he was setting up, so. That's my fault. I should have let him settle in. But I'm drawing something for him. I, I told him, like, yeah, I'm drawing something. I'm going to bring it over later. Like, All right, cool, man. Cool, man. Um, so I'm working on that right now. Um, there's a bunch of panels today. I marked with, with dots. I'm going to be leaving my booth for, like, hours at a time. There's a lot of valuable panels I want to see and learn from. And um, people looking at me as I talk to the camera. I should probably take the flash off. Makes me very noticeable. But um, yeah, I'm about to leave in a couple minutes for a panel. The, the con is slow, which is kind of a good thing because I was freaking out about leaving my table for so long, for hours. But I don't think I'll be missing much, so it's kind of a good thing that it's slow. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Talk to you later. What is that? Hi guys, some friends came to visit me. I'm trying to get them to buy stuff, but they're, they're, they're a, little, a little cheap. It's working. They're Trust a little me. cheap. I've been away from my table for an hour, and I come back and they're here, so. That's cool. One's shutting down. I'm still unpacking. I was in a panel that ended a little bit late. Um, by the time I came back, like half the people were gone. Like all the vendors are wasting no time. But uh, yeah, I'll talk about everything I learned and the aftermath of everything and when I'm home. And yeah, see ya. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I unpacked everything. Really tired, about to pass out. Um, wow. There was some crazy stuff that went went down this weekend, man. Some some really inspiring things. Some uh, I grew a lot I, I, coming across like people like these I don't know, famous people, celebrities. I want to call them celebrities, but uh, people that you know that are really far into their career and they're far into something that you're trying to get into, and they have interviews and podcasts on YouTube and. They're, they're, they're established and they look high, they looked highly upon. To see them in person, man, it's, it's nerve-wracking. So it was cool to meet a lot of these guys in person, shake their hand, buy, even buy a few comics from them, and just talk to them, talk to them and um, let them know about my doubts and, and issues and, or concerns, not issues, but concerns of uh, being in 27 feeling like I'm late to the game of trying to figure out how to get good at art or writing and get into comics because so the, the grades, you know, started as kids, you, you know. I mean, not all the grades, but most of them. People that you hear about a lot, dude. Their passion started as a child. and I, I didn't hone my skills personally. I always doodled in class, but I, I wasn't getting good or better at what, at drawing. All right, so I bought these comics. Uh, the the three there, the shepherd was. Here, let me go like this. Those, I paid two, got this half off, and then they each came with prints. So this was a forty-five set. This was thirty-five that I bought from Walter. And um, this guy charged me 
25 I believe. This this is really cool. I got it signed by the cover artist, Jeff Decal. Got it signed by the writer, and then I got it signed by the, the artist who did the art inside. Very awesome. And then um, this is the same writer. He did, a, I believe this is for Image um, Company. So he signed that. Um, Walter, he's a dude. He's a guy. I bought his stuff because he's really inspiring. He started from from nothing from nothing he this is this is all him oh look he drew a little sketch <laughs> um this is all him he 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 like kick-started this uh he had a passion pretty much like i did but he acted on it he figured out how to write it how to make it um he also let me pick out a print gave me a bookmark very cool um battery's low just lost my flash and uh this guy the shepherd this guy's an older dude he was like an english major he's like 50 now 55 something like that um very inspiring he had a dream he's he, he's a teacher and he had a dream um uh, and that's what the story was based off more a nightmare about a son um who died from a uh he od'd on meth or something like that and um his dad dreamt about that and like had a panic attack and and pretty much like the main character is kind of based off of him and the father goes and in that like in the afterlife to get his son back or something like that but i haven't read it yet going to just inspiring stuff another dude who started who made a graphic novel novel late in his life and got it published and he's doing well for himself um these this is established already but uh, i was talking to the the writer of this uh, let me see if i can get his name um he, I was talking to him, like, uh, starting late on 2070. Oh, Ed Brent, Brentson. He's another guy that started late uh, in, in, in writing. Um, he, he started, like, in his 30s or 37 or I think he said he's 37 now or he got his first gig at 37. I don't know. But he, he's also new to writing for Marvel. He, he, he can't even believe it. But And this is his indie comic. Um, not based off a superhero, superhero, but his original story idea. So, very cool. But anyways, what I'm saying is, I was inspired big time by by everyone. It, it, and and I didn't make my money back, but uh, the value I got from talking with these people, I learned a lot. I took some amazing photos, got some really cool pictures. Uh, Chris Claremont, the guy that wrote X Men for 20 years, I got a picture with him. Fabian, uh, co-creator Deadpool, got a picture with him. Greg, Greg Horn. Um, people, this, this guy, this guy that uh, Jimmy Valentino, I think his name is. He wrote for Hollywood Quinn, and among others, I got, I got a photo with this guy who, like, did comics back in the seventies and eighties. Um, for DC and Marvel, like, just a bunch of legends. So, so it was really cool. But yeah, I'm tired. Oh, overall, uh, oh, okay. So bad show, right? I didn't make money, but I was talking to all the, the other vendors, and they didn't make, they didn't do too well either. And they're they're saying like, do not be discouraged because uh, their experience, like, do not be discouraged. Just like, con, most cons are not like this. Like it happens every now and then, but this one was just really bad. So don't be discouraged. Don't let, let this discourage you. And uh, they're telling me like the Tampa Bay cons supposed to be really good, but but Tampa Bay is freaking far, like four hours away. But I'm going to sign up for it. I'm going to need to get a new car. I don't, I don't think my piece of junk car is going to make it four hours. But, um, yeah, they said just uh, keep going. Don't get discouraged. So I'm not discouraged. I'm not, um, like, I can make that money back uh, working or whatever. Like, it's it's fine. But I, I just got a lot more out of it than than losing the money, just the value of everything else and talking to these guys. So it, it was cool. But, yeah, I'm going to end this. I'm, I'm rambling. Got to read all these comics. I'm looking forward to that. I bought these comics also to support those guys, but I want to learn from them, especially the indie comics. Like, oh, it's inspired, man. Inspiring. Because you see the Marvel comics, the DC comics, like the art's crazy good. Everything's professional. But the indie comics aren't at that level. And, uh, like, they don't have to be. You don't have to be the greatest artist in the world, the greatest writer in the world to make a good story and, and good art and to make it captivating and to, and to put it together, put it, make it, uh, make, make a physical copy. Like it's possible. I can do it. Anyone can do it. We can all do it if you want to do it. So I'm going to end it on there. Thanks for watching. If, um, I'd be shocked if anyone made it through the whole video, but 
Uh, leave a comment if you got it got this far. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Also want to add, coming into the con, I planned on... First I was going to wear the suit, uh, walk around, attract people to the, to the table, um, see the artists and writers I wanted to meet, get their autographs, get things signed. I was going to interview them, record the interview so I can make a big collage. I was going to ask them all the same question and edit it all together and make a video for YouTube. Uh, none of that happened. Um, this morning when I came in, I even talked to some of the creators, and, I'm, and I was like, hey, uh, later can I come see you and re ask a question and record it? And they're, they were saying, yeah, and um, it was just a, such a rush. I, today I wasn't even at my table, barely. Barely at my table because there's so many panels going on that I, that I wanted to attend to. I, I just left my table, and uh, I, I just I wrote a sign like, hey, uh, hey just leave money, um, leave it on the chair. And... Um, one person left ten dollars. They bought a little mermaid piece. The guy sitting next to me was telling me, Ray. He was telling me they bought a little mermaid. They left ten dollars, but and um, other than that, I wasn't at my table, and uh, I missed and I missed out on money just through that. So uh, between the panels, um, and and when I wasn't at the panel, I would try to sit down. It was hard for me to meet anyone at, at their table, and uh, and also I was nervous and scared to to record and interview someone you know that's i'm gonna get there um but this this con was not the con just too much stuff going on uh, and yesterday when i had the spiderman suit and everyone went to take pictures there was no way it was just crazy i did what i did what i could i managed some things here and there um but not as much as i wanted to didn't didn't do as much as i wanted to i didn't ask all the questions i wanted to ask but the ones I did, I did get a lot of value. It could have been a lot worse. Um, I got I got so much value, so just want to say that. But see ya.